mice, and believe it or not, mushrooms. All things one tenant says she's living with inside her east side apartment. And she says management has been slow to act, if at all. News 5's Jordan Vandenberg gives us a tour. Unsafe and unsanitary. That's how some tenants here at Park Place Apartments on the east side describe their living conditions. And making matters even worse, they say, management isn't doing a thing about it. It's a living room that can't be lived in. A kitchen. Nothing goes down. That can't be cooked in. I had to light my uh, my stove with paper. And my oven doesn't work at all. In a bathroom that you wouldn't dare bathe in. And that's where the water's been leaking from for over the past six months, I think. Or nine months. So it, doesn't yeah. it doesn't shut off. The water is actually off. For Elizabeth Jackson's quaint apartment at Park Place, it's only getting worse. I think that in this house, we are getting sick. We're getting even more sick, especially him, because he likes to sleep downstairs. Jackson's $900 monthly rent is federally subsidized, and she says the problem started a few months after she moved in. Bad pipes upstairs sent water through the ceiling downstairs. Maintenance fixed the pipes, left the hole exposed, and patched the downstairs ceiling. Jackson says that was the first and only time maintenance has been here. The tub started to leak and then we told them about that and nothing. So that was nine months ago and now the ceiling is leaking. It's a slow leak, but enough to fill a cup in a couple of hours, enough to cause damage to the floor and enough to cause mold and apparently mushrooms. It was shocking. I'm like, I have mushrooms growing in my house. That is so unreal. I'm tired of living here in this condition. It's not something that I want my son to be in. The property is owned by a Michigan-based company and managed by Independent Management Services. A company rep says roof repairs were made last summer and the company has no prior knowledge of Jackson's apartment being in this condition. A voicemail Jackson has from the property manager contradicts that. Then the company said after a March inspection, a plumber came to fix the leaking pipes. Sure doesn't look like it. They will send people here to give me eviction notices before they send people here to fix my stuff. That's what happened, she says. Jackson has received eviction notices when she stopped paying rent out of protest. She's plotting her next move, both by choice and by necessity. I dread this apartment so much. I dread being here. I hate coming home. Jackson says other tenants have put their rent into escrow until the company makes repairs. Reporting in Cleveland, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5.